So hello guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make a two-story building out of Blender and apply texture in it. So first open your Blender. So out of this cube, we're gonna make the blueprint of the house. So press S. And there you go. Then press S again. Then center mouse. Just like that. So next up, you're gonna add another cube for the balcony of the house. So another cube. Uh, make it scale. Mm, just like this one. Like it. So scale again. Center mouse. Just like this one, make it a little bit small. Oops. Just like this one, so let's make it here, then here, and go. So next, next thing you gotta do is you need go to the edit mode press loop and slide another loop cut here and here then click the edges press shift then extrude region Just like this one. So here you're gonna go. So here it is. The next thing we're gonna do is to add another cube for the roof. So here's the cube. Let's make it here. So scale make it widen just like this one so make it wider again and here so here it is so now we're gonna make it a roof go to edit mode put some Slide here, the center, also here, there, another one, here, then do the edit mode, so extrude region, just like this one. So here you go. So this is the blueprint of the house. So next up, we're gonna make the roof. So go to object mode. So now we're going to design the roof. So just click the edges, press shift. this one this one and this one then click the green arrow to make it push then the other side click the edges then push the right side of the roof Also the right side, so there is it, then the other roof, then push. 
Kuhlschmidt. So here is it. You only finish your roof. Go to object mode. Then go to edit mode again. Click this one. Push. Click the other side. Push again. So here is it. Click the angles. And there you go. You just made a roof. So now we're going to design the balcony. I just put loops in here. This one. So next thing you gotta do is just to delete the loops and all the edges. So we just click the vertices. Then press delete key delete vertices so now you can see the interior of the house the other side press delete key there is it this side just click on the vertices then click the delete key where is it? Also this one. Let's put another cook side in here. So all you need to do guys is just delete the vertices to make holes in it just like this one. So here you go the blueprint of the house, the 3D image including the balcony so next up we're going to apply textures so here's my partner Christine and she's gonna ma teach you how to apply textures on our 3D image so in applying texture You'll need to set your screen data block to compositing. After that, you can see three window. The three three D view window at the bottom right, the UV editing at the bottom left, and the render window at the upper part. So first we can apply textures. As you can see, I downloaded some images from the web. These images will be used as a texture for our 3D house. Texture for the door, for the lawn, for the roof, for the wall, and for the window. So we will put textures of the roof first. It is very easy. All you need to do is to set the engine to use for rendering in Cycles Render. Click the roof and go to the edit mode then click face select click on every dark dots you can see then mesh uv unwrap then click unwrap do it looply in every part of the roof After clicking all the dots, click on the material properties. Click new. Then click the dot besides the color. Then go to the image texture and we are going to browse the roof texture that we have just downloaded. I just put it in the desktop. So here it is.
After that, click Browse Image to the link, then look for the texture you just inputted. There you go, you just created the texture of the roof. Now for the wall, you just do the same way by applying texture in the roof and also for the lawn and to the other part of the house. Now for the window, just simply add plane, just rotate the plane, press Y, just turn it diagonally, there you go. Then just put it in here. Yeah. Use scale. To make it a little. There. It fits. Now we are there. It fits. Then just easily add texture. Browse for a window JPEG. Open. Go to edit mode. Unlock. Click here. I'll click the window so that you can see it. So just move it. Just drag the vertex. Just like that. So that you. you can cover all picture. So just rotate it. Press X. And there you go. So just you can easily go to object mode. Then go to default. If you just press the texture so that you can see the textures, then just dip the object. There you go. Just do it repeatedly or looply. You can just duplicate it all you want. Then just arrange it just like that. Okay, so good.
So all you need to do is just to dupe the object and just arrange them. Arrange them clearly and arrange them. Make a beautiful card, Zex. Your image. Make those. And warp. There you go. Turbo. This one would be here. To easily dupe the object, just click Shift then D to dupe the object. Just like this one. Shift D. So here it is. All the window has been put, so as you can see it there, it just easily dupe to make a uniform design. So next up we're going to make a door. All you need to do is just to add a uh, plane to make it rotate, then press X. Let's rotate exactly 90 degrees. There you go. Put it in here. Just like that. Then click on the material bottom. Click new, bottom, image texture, browse, then picture, then click on door, open it, click on edit mode, so press U, then a mark, then there you go. Here's another door. Just make it pretty far mark here. Here's the door, I just easily dupe the other one of the other side. Then there you go. So that's all. Here's your pretty house. And see, you can allow you can put a lot of other images in here to make it cool. Just put the signs. You're gonna be good. So guys, here it is. Your finished product. See so how it is? The roof, the wall, you can make doors and windows. You have now a 3D house. These are plus textures, textures. A lot more.